YouTube. What is up? What is good with you guys? It's the Bull Neat. And before we get to the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're going to roll to 500 subs by my birthday, which is February 12th. So let's get there. That'd be the best gift y'all can get to me. I promise y'all. And give the video a thumbs up and comment down below in the reaction videos you see on the channel. And today we're ready to how Marshawn Lattimore spent his first million in the NFL. You don't know who Marshawn Lattimore is. He's a star cornerback for the New Orleans Saints. He tried to do back in 2017. So I go back a couple years here. Go back almost four years to see how he spent his first million. So it's going to be intriguing. Do I drink? And uh, let's get to it. Are you still shopping H&M or not? Nah, I've been stopped shopping H&M. I had to upgrade. <laughs> What's up, HM? DQ? It's Marshawn Lattimore. Yeah, and this is how I spent and saved my first million dollars. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah the way to make it out of there, and you know, I just followed that. Since I was a baby, you know, my father, he played football. Okay. So he wanted me to play football, and Makes 14, sense. 15, you know, I kind of seen it, you know, that I can make it. And from that point on, you know, I just worked hard and, and got to where I'm at. Big fat. You an offer to Ohio State. How did that feel? You know, that's a dream come true. I'm from the same place, Ted Ginn Jr. From, like, I went to the same school. Yeah, yo, that is crazy, though. Like, you. You pretty much born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio, then Ohio State gives you an offer. Crazy. Glenville. You know, he's way older than me, but growing up, Ted Ginn was the man. So just oh, getting yeah. an offer from Ohio State, it's like a dream come true coming from there. And I was the best player, like, coming from Ohio. You know, I was supposed to play my freshman year, but I got hurt. So I was injured for the whole year that year. In my second year, I was injured for most of the year. I almost quit and ate, you know, my family taught me in the stand. So my third year was really my only complete year plan. You know, certain people, like, oh yeah, he might not make it just cause he only played one year. Oh yeah. I put my draft grade in, it came back first round, and I was out. <laughs> it wasn't no question, I was out. <laughs> With the Saints, I got drafted with Marcus Williams, so I went there with people I knew already, so I was comfortable, and I, I loved it. Actually, yeah. I thought I was gonna go five or six when I seen, you know, New Orleans was up next. I told Michael Thomas, I texted him like, tell him I'm ready, you know, tell him to come get me, I'm ready. And my contract was yeah. uh, about 15 million with a nine million dollar signing. Yo, uh, I love his confidence, man. But shoot, as a DB, you, could, you need that confidence. As, as a corner. You definitely need that confidence for sure, bro. Definitely. Bonus. You can see the details of my rookie contract right here. Like, I really Look made it, change. you know, just coming from where we come from. I can really take care of my family. I can take care of myself. But right. at the same time, you got to know that this money don't last forever. Going with a financial advisor, you really just learning. They're trying to help you. You just got to take the knowledge in. You got to save your money like it's your last snap, like every time. We yo, that's big facts, yo. Especially for a football player, like the average, I need mean, like the average career of football player for like three, three, four years. So like one injury or just like one setback and like and you got to leave, so. Yeah you, yeah, you definitely got to see your brand. Like, that's for any athlete. That could have been basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer, shoot, even golf and tennis. Anything can happen. So, like, once you, once you get that, once you get that bread, you got to, obviously, you want to treat yourself. You want to help your family out. But at the you got to save that bread for, for the rest of your life, too. So, smart. you playing a physical sport, anything can happen. You got to have go. something to fall back on. See? All right, we talked about how I saved my money. Now, let's talk about how I spent my money. Oh, yeah, so I get my car. First thing gotcha. I bought with my check is a car for my mother. Okay. Car for my mother, 35K. Oh, ain't bad. I was just feeling like I just wanted to get her a car. Like one day I was like, I'm about to get my mother a car. I was just sitting there. I went to my financial advisor, picked it out. You know, it was red. She liked red too. You know, red my favorite color. I surprised her. I just pulled up in the driveway with a bow on it and boom, she was crying. <laughs> 
car leases? I actually didn't buy a car for myself. I leased a car for a year. Von Bell had two cars. He had a Benz and he had a Jeep. And you know, I wanted a Wraith. Like in my heart, I wanted a Rolls Royce. But people taught me how to get in it. So yeah, I actually like smart. rented Von Benz. I was paying his car now and I was just driving his car. Roughly around 10, I'd say 10. What's that? After my lease? first year, I actually did get a car and I got a Range Rover. At least for the Range Rover, about 60K. That's about, that's about, that's about right for range. I leased the car because I really didn't, I didn't want it. Like, like I said, I really wanted, you know, the Rolls Royce, but people just kept talking me out of it. A few of my teammates, you know, all the guys that really know what's going on, they said, man, just, just wait. I'm not gonna buy a car until I can buy this car. <laughs> okay. That's bad, Oh, I got the Rolly. Jury is like trophies to me. My first watch, I think it was a uh, Rolex. It was about 25,000 Rolex. That's the watch to get when you first make it. Like, you have to get a Rolex. My teammate, Facts. Ken Crawley, he <laughs> actually got one. And I'm like, man, we might, I'm gonna get one too. Yeah, like. I feel, like, I feel like every athlete like got that. I always got got like a Rolex. I guess I guess it's a, I guess it's a requirement. <laughs> wow, that chains. I got some chains and I got some bracelets. The bracelets is fifteen. I actually just got these chains like over the off season. Forty all together probably like about hundred and twenty k on chains and bracelets. Damn, yeah, that's a lot to take out. See me like I'm not really a big chains guy. Like a, like a like a watch I can see. Well, like a watch could buy, but chains I don't know. Chains me like I'm not a really big chains guy. But like I want to spend much money on chains. So ain't like what was it like one twenty on it? I'm like yeah, that's that's a little high on chains. But hey, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I got my own style, you know. I know how to put stuff together. So I, I bought my own stuff. I don't need no stylist or nothing like that. I spent a lot of money on clothes and shoes. I'm gonna say 80. I'm gonna say 80. Ain't bad. I like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, like expensive stuff, Dior. But I, you know, I see, I got a Diggy outfit on right now. Yo, I had a, yo, I had a feeling. I had a feeling he had a Diggy suit on, a Diggy uh, fit on. I, I had a feeling he did. <laughs> I, I had to, yo. <laughs> oh, with some Chanel shoes. Like, you know, I'll just switch it up like that. When people do all high-end, it just don't look right, you know? What was your favorite place to shop when you were in, like, high school? High school? It was H&M. Because it was so cheap. I think some jeans was, like, $15. The T-shirts was $10. Like, you can, you can go in there with $50 and get a whole outfit. No bullshit. Nah, I've been stopped shopping at H&M. I had to upgrade. <laughs> How about like a rookie dinner? Did you have to take your teammates out to dinner? Yeah, I hated it. They kind of tricked me into doing it. We went to a steakhouse, and they just told you like, just come on, just come. And I didn't even know I was paying for it like that. <laughs> Yo, they took my man up. Good. Like, it was like 7000 <laughs> Was it defense only or offense? Defense only. Just defense only, yeah. No, never. Not offense and just defense. But I was mad. Like, I was mad at that. I didn't want to spend seven thousand on a dinner. You know, I love him. I love him right now, so it's all good. It's just funny <laughs> now. But back then when it happened, I was mad. Like, I didn't like nobody. <laughs> Ricky dinner, seven K. No, I'd be pissed too right there. Seven K for what? Okay, big K. I travel. I went to Dominican Republic with a couple of my teammates, Justin Hardy and uh, Ken Crowley. It was a great time. The resorts was nice. You know, we we went out a couple places, and I had I had fun. I enjoyed myself. Hey. I go the cheapest routes with the flights. You know, people do private jets. I'm gonna start doing it, but like around that time, the trip probably was a couple thousand. <laughs> Share with the boys. Five K. <laughs> hey man, ain't nothing wrong with the cheap route, bro. Cause the most important thing is to spend money at the resort itself. Like getting there, 
It would be a little cheap, you know what I'm saying? But at the resort, that's what you, that's what you spend the bread. You got to spend the bread at the, at the resort, at the place, man. Get in there. You be a little cheap. You be a little frugal. Hey, I, I, I'll take coach, man. As long as I get there, as long as I get there safe and sound on time, I'll try to spend, I'll try to spend some bread when we get there. <laughs> I got my sister a car too. She messed her car up. You know, she got kids, so I, you know, I couldn't have her out here without a car. I had to get her a car, and that's my sister. You know, I love her. I got her a Jeep Rubicon. Uh, 60k for my sister car. Damn, this car cost more than my car. Okay. I got a portrait of my cousin. My cousin got killed when I was 14. Damn. And he was 17. He had a twin and everything. I had to get this a portrait of him. On um, one of these sides, you know, it's R.P. Dayton. That's his name. But this is like 15, two, 2000. Tattoos, 2K. Yes, I bought sir. my mother a house. We was in the hood, so we just had to get out of there. She was good, like she act like she didn't really want the house because she was so focused on not spending my money. But I told her like, nah, like, I want to get you in the house, like a bigger house. But the first nice house that she wanted, like she felt like that fit her, I just like, go ahead, you can get it. House for my mother, 500,000. Gotta get mama house, yo. You got to, man. You got to get mama house. Last what thing I did, have? I gave money out to my family, like my cousins, my sister. I spent money on them more than I spent money on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of family isn't cheap, so nope. 100,000 in family expenses. Hey, that's a good deal, though. All right. So this is how I spent my first million dollars. I like how I spend my money. Being where I'm from and being able to do this is, is a blessing. I also started my own charity. Just like a, a fun okay. day for the kids, like back where I'm from. I got hey, bouncy houses, gaming trucks. I got food trucks. I got everything all hey. on me. It's called a better day. I'm proud of that, you know. And I, I couldn't do it this year because of COVID, you know. It's, Really supposed to be an annual thing, you know, on me, but oh, yeah. COVID messed everything up. What advice would you give a rookie? Save your money. You gotta learn how to tell people no, because a lot of people are gonna be coming. Save 80% of your money, you know, spend 20. Thanks to everybody okay. for coming in, tuning in, seeing how I spent my first million dollars. I'll catch y'all on Sundays. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the video, and man, I like the way, yeah, I agree. I like the way he spends his money. I mean, the only thing I ever might have an issue with is maybe the 120K on chains, but that's just a personal preference for me. I'm not really a big chains guy, or I don't see really spending all that bread on chains. But besides that, I mean, shoot, got his mama's house, mom's car, sister, car. She got a little vacation, a little money on clothes. He leased a couple cars and bought a car, yes. So I'm like, that's cool. So, I mean, hey, I got to check, you know, me do out a little. Dawson's family. And shit, that's tough though, man. But hey yeah, guys, like this video, get a thumbs up, comment down below. Any of your videos you see on the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch y'all next time.